Hi guys, this is Liliana from Sugarella Sweets. In this video, I'll be showing you how to recreate this flower called Magnolia. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm bending the top part of my wire to create a hook using my scissors, but you can also use your pliers for this. Roll out a black fondant ball and insert your wet wire into it, making sure to mold the bottom part nicely. Cut your fondant with small little scissors, creating little creases all the way around your piece, starting from the top, going all the way to the bottom. Transfer your piece to a styrofoam block and leave it to dry for at least 24 hours. Roll out white fondant not too thin and cut out three pieces using the rose cutter. Transfer your petals one by one onto your vein mold and press it down to create a realistic effect. Turn your vein impression mat around and press one by one all the petals on top of this crease. This will create a pocket for your flower wiring. Dip your wire into water and insert it in the pocket of each petals. Transfer your petals onto your foam mat and using your ball tool, thin out the edges slightly. If your petals get sticky, simply dust a little bit of cornstarch or sugar powder. Then, place each petals on top of a spoon and let it dry for at least 24 hours. The crease of the spoon will give a natural look to the petals. Using some clear tape, glue one by one three petals to your stem and create it. Bend your wire a little bit backwards before gluing it to your stem. End. Stretch your tape as you're twisting it around your wires. This will activate the glue. Do not twist all the way down or else your wire is going to be way too thick once you'll be done with your flower. Once you're gluing the first set of three petals, you're going to follow the same technique and glue the second set of four petals. And then once you're done that, you're going to glue the third set of four petals as well. Once you've glued your petals one by one, you can now place your petals however you would like your flower to look like. If you're going to insert your flower to your cake, make sure to cover the entire wires using your floral tape because metal is not food safe. You can also use one of these or a straw that you're simply going to insert into your cake and then put your flower into it and then it will become food safe. So there you go. This is how I create my flower magnolia. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and if you want more videos like this, simply subscribe to my channel for free.